Yo, what's up, people? Back here with another video showing you the DVDs with the letter N. All the DVDs here with the letter N. And I'm going to start off with the Naked Gun 2.5 with uh, Leslie Nielsen. Still can't believe I have I don't have part one or part three. I just have the second one. That kind of sucks. Um, this this is a really good series. It was funny, and yeah, it was cool. Then I have Nina, Nina. Um, not sure what this is, but obviously a horror horror movie here. Napoleon Dynamite. Everyone should have that in their collection. Very very funny movie. National Security with Martin Lawrence. Awesome. Again, I only have the second part. I don't have part one or part three. National Treasures. Natural Born Killers. Awesome movie. Um, one of my favorite Woody Harrison movies out there. Natural Selection. I actually bought this for a dollar. At the Dollar Tree. Navy Seals. I really want to get this on Blu-ray. Um, this movie was really good. I liked it. One of my all-time favorite vampire movies, Near Dark. And um, this is a pretty cool box set edition. Has a bunch of extra features here, as you can see. And running on two discs. Near Dark, really fucking good movie. This is Full Moon's Greenhouse Collection, ne Necropolis. Necropolis. Um, 80s Cheesy. Ned Kelly. With Heath Ledger, Orlando Bloom. The Negotiator, Kevin Spacey. This was really good. I really, I was surprised with this one. Really good movie. Never back down. Never Been Kissed. Never Cry Wolf. The New Daughter. Awesome fucking movie, Kevin Costner. If you haven't seen this one, I highly recommend this one. Very, very good. Um, I actually thought I was going to revamp his career. Because you don't hear too much of Kevin Costner, especially in the in the mid-2000s. You barely ever hear from him. But definitely, this was a very, very good movie. Which I thought was going to get a more uh, recognition. New in Town. Still has a cool blockbuster uh, stickers. The New York Ripper, Blue Underground release. Next, with Nicolas Cage, Julianne Moore, and the beautiful Jessica Biel. Pretty good caster. Next of Kin, Patrick Swayze. This this was a really good movie. Very memorable in the late 80s. Nezulia, a creature feature. Oh, I love this movie. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. Really good movie. Awesome romantic uh, movie here. Very, very uh, fun to watch. Night at the Museum. The Battle of the Smithsonian's. Never seen this. Just have it there. Night at the Roxbury. Possibly one of my favorite uh, comedies of all time. Super, super funny amazing great chemistry between between these two i really love this will ferrell's um one of his best movies for sure night of the comet awesome fucking movie bro if you've never seen this do yourself a favor and stream it watch it i don't know how you guys watch movies nowadays but for sure this is a must just like this one very good movie night of the creeps this, this is the director's cut dvd I need to upgrade this and get it on Blu-ray already. Night of Demons. This is the remake with Shannon Elizabeth. Not that bad. It was pretty good. I liked it. But I love this one. Night of the Demons. The original one. Awesome fucking movie, man. One of my favorite movies. One of my favorite horror movies ever. Such a good movie. Highly recommend it. And then this is the second one. Night of Demons 2. It was alright. I like part one better. And of course a classic. Who doesn't have this? Night of the Living Dead. 
as well as Night of the Living Dorks. Well, Lorenzo Llamas, you know what you're getting into. Night of the Warrior, super cheesy action movie. Night Shift, 80s comedy. Night Skies. Night Train. Night Watcher. Nightmare. Nightmare Detective. This was a. Uh, this was actually pretty good. Not not too many people talk about this one. This one, but that one was pretty good. And you got the Nightmare on Elm Street, the crappy ass remake. The Nightmare Series Encyclopedia. This is like a special um, disc with bonus stuff. Then the Nightmare on Elm Street, the original one. Then Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. I really, really like this one a lot. Part 2 was awesome. like it so much here. I got uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. Probably my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street. I have it twice. I have this version too. Such a good movie, Part 3. Then I got Part 4, Nightmare on Elm Street, the Dream Master. That was another good one. This was awesome. Dream Child, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 5. Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. And I actually really like this one, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Awesome fucking movie. Night Stalker. Night Watch. A lot of horror movies there on that shelf. Nine with Daniel Day-Lewis. Nine months. Um, I really like that one. I don't usually like those kind of movies, but yeah, that was good. Ninja Three: The Domin, The Domination. Ninja Assassin. Ninja Scroll, possibly my favorite anime of all time. Really fucking good. Nintendo Quest. This is a documentary of a couple of friends that um they're on their quest to complete the entire Nintendo library to buy all the nintendo so they go all the nintendo games so they go to like uh drift stores they go to like game video game stores and garage sales and pawn pawn shops um trying to buy um all the nintendo uh, games that came out i think there was a total of like 780 something so yeah so they're on a quest to buy them all they're spending with the least money possible then I got here Johnny Depp with the Ninth Gate. And Charlie Sheen, Martin Sheen in No Code of Conduct. Trust no one. No Escape, Roli, Ray Liotta, and oh, this is this is a good cast here. What is that? Matt Dillon, Ray Liotta, and Ernie Hudson. Yeah, man, that's a good... Uh, Kevin Dillon, actually, not Matt Dillon, Kevin Dillon. The guy from... Entourage. And here I got No Holds Barred with Hulk Hogan and Zeus. No Man's Land, Charlie Sheen, another Charlie Sheen movie. Richard Gere here, No Mercy with Kim Basinger. Good, that was a good one. Nobody Gets Out Alive, cheesy mid 2000s. Non Stop, another Liam Neeson action thriller. The Notebook. Actually, really like this one. Um, I'm not gonna lie about it. It was a very, very good movie. Nothing but trouble. Dan Aykroyd and John Candy. Demi Moore, Chevy Chase. That was a really good movie. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend this. It's it's, it's very, it's very funny. Nothing to lose. And November, Courtney Cox. And let's see over here. What do we have here? We got three more. Now and then, I picked this up in a pawn shop um, for a pretty cheap price. That's Demi Moore in it, Melanie Griffin, Rosie O'Donnell, and a bunch of other. Christina Ritchie's also in it. Look at her there. So now and then, 
<clears throat> Nowhere to Run with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Awesome movie. If you haven't seen it, you have to. And the last one, The Number 23 with Jim Carrey. Very, very smart movie. Great thriller. And yeah, everything adds up to The Number 23. So definitely a very good movie here with Jim Carrey. And that's about it for my ends. I will be back with a short video just showing you the O's. And there's not too many. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.